Peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us reflect on the Lenten season. We enter into the Lenten season from the Ash Wednesday. And so, I want us for this Lenten season to think how we are going to journey the 40 days in a meaningful way and in a spiritually fruitful manner. You see, Many times we say about uh, fasting, about uh, abstinence from meat, and many times like saying, okay, I will deny myself of chocolate uh, for the entire duration of a Lenten season. But after Lenten season, we kind of right away dig in eating chocolate. There is no meaning of it all when the heart and the mind are not actually convinced of what they are for of what the denying of oneself is all about. And so for this reflection, I want us to capture the ideas that we have about Lenten season. First is that Lenten season we call discipline a blend. This is one of the ideas about Lenten season is a discipline a blend. Meaning that disciplining the body so that the body can be attuned to the concerns of the soul. Disciplining the body so that the wants of the body and the comforts of the body may not go run amok. So for this Lenten season, you see, we are given the cross on our forehead. And what does it mean? Burnt ashes. Some things to be burned, some things to be destroyed. Uh, by disciplining our body, we destroy something that is not coherent with the teachings of the Lord. Body, mouth, we incline ourselves many times to say bad words. And yet the same mouth we use for prayer. Mouth, we backbite people. And yet the same mouth, we offer praises to the Lord. The body must be disciplined so that the body can be inclined to the concerns of the soul. The second idea I want us to also bring into our Lenten journey is that Lenten season, as we all know, is to accompany Jesus in the desert experience. The desert is an image of emptiness, image of dryness, image of, of sacrifice. So, so we are also to willingly choose to have acts of sacrifice for love of Him. Jesus died for us. We also must die in ourselves for God so that we are more inclined to do God's will. You see, in this Lenten season, we ask ourselves, what can we do in order to accompany Jesus in His desert experience? The time of sacrifice, fasting, prayer, abstinence, um, almsgiving, all these are actions. But many times we do not do them. Why? Because our attitude is just to escape from sacrifice, to escape, to escape ourselves from doing forms of suffering, forms of sacrifice. Many times we say, oh, well, I am already past the age and so I am not, I am already exempted. Yeah, you may be exempted from abstinence from me. You may be exempted from uh, the fasting, but you can still do other acts of sacrifice. Like you used to, you are, you are used to watching TV one hour, two hours. Maybe cut it in half and use the other half for prayer. Yeah, maybe the point is that we cannot fall into scapism. We cannot fall into just saying, oh, I am already this and I am already that and I am exempted. If we have the attitude of scapism, then how are you going to really in mind and heart attune yourself to the sense of sacrifice, to the acts of, of accompanying Jesus in the uh, sacrifice, 
his suffering and death on the cross for our salvation. So the idea is to put ourselves in Jesus Christ and to willingly embrace acts of sacrifice as atonements for our sins and atonement for the sins of the world, uniting ourselves to Jesus Christ. The third, the third idea I want us to consider in the doing and in the living out of our Lenten season is dying, of the dying of the self, mortification, dying to oneself. Remember Jesus once said, anyone who loves his life, we lose it. You see, I want us not to lose our life, but in Christ, we need to learn, we need to learn to die to oneself, dying to our own caprices, dying to our um, tend tendencies to ingrandize oneself in arrogance and in pride, dying into our many forms of selfishness and to many forms of laziness. So that just as Jesus died for us, we also learn to die for Him. So that as God loves us so much, we also in some ways can strive to love Him in return by disciplining our body, by acts of sacrifice, and by dying in ourselves in order to live for God. And so for this Lenten season, Try to reflect how can we really make the best out of the Lenten journey. I hope you would consider these suggestions. And God bless in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening and please subscribe. If you have not done so, give us a thumbs up and share this video to others. A blessed Lenten season to all.